with Sarah and I have I wanted to do it face to face today um, I wanted to make a video for you guys but I'm so busy with classes the classes and just playing on my own um, and I guess I could film a lot of some of that but mainly um, I wanted to talk about uh, my YouTube experience based on um, the last four years. I've been making videos now probably almost four years and watching videos for a little bit longer than that and what I've discovered is um, it can be it can be addictive and you can get in trouble like I don't know I'm lucky like we have a little bit of a budget for me to spend on craft supplies but I know a lot of you don't and you have to be careful because Everything, you don't need everything to make stuff. You can use what you have a lot of the times, and um, I'm not a good example of that. Like, that's not, I went and bought a lot of stuff, and now I look around my craft room, and I'm a little, like, disappointed because there's a lot of stuff in this room that I probably won't ever use again. But that being said, I definitely enjoyed it at the time um, and I look around my room and I've made some like really cool stuff and that's the thing so my advice would be if you are on a small budget or a limited budget you really have to think about um, first of all use coupons use your coupons which is I'm addicted to coupons like I really have a hard time getting something if, it, if I don't have a coupon and that's because oh sorry I'm growing my hair out all right right here um, what I was saying was uh, because I do have a lot of art supplies and uh, I can't I just can't buy it without a coupon anymore and that's Michael's AC Moore Hobby Lobby um, that I, I shop there a lot first because I know I can get 40% off. And if I can get 40% off like these, guess what? These are um, watercolors. I just ordered. I just got an order from Amazon. I didn't. I, you don't get coupons. But the thing is, this watercolor journal, Strathmore watercolor journal, they don't have this at my local stores. I've looked because I would have gotten that with a coupon. They might have the Windsor Newton. This is just the, uh, this is about how many colors? 12 colors. Because I, I have this watercolor, which is pretty nice. And it's not a name brand. It's Cotman, which maybe it is a name brand. I don't know. This is 10 colors. And they're pretty colors because I can show you stuff I've made. Um, but I was watching the Frugal Crafter, and I think I'm going to start playing around with what Lindsay makes because she's a pretty good teacher um, but this has 12 colors the Windsor Newton and this is what she was using um, and I just you know I don't know what I'm you know and then I'm, I'm gonna have to show you I did get this at Michael's this is the FW acrylics artist inks and I've seen these before a lot of uh, mixed media artists use these but um, Mainly Tam had used them. Tam is, Tamara, Tamara Laporte is the host of Lifebook. Um, and in mixed media, it was just too gorgeous to resist. And so I did, I got these with a coupon. So, because these are expensive. So I think, I think they're $30 for six. Like that's crazy, right? If you don't have a budget, right? But with a coupon, 40% off it makes it more doable and they're gorgeous but I really don't know what to do with them so I should play with these maybe I'll do a video about what they do and all that stuff that's an idea because I'm kind of running out of video um, ideas since I'm in a in a place right now where I'm not doing a lot of um, crafting per se I'm painting I'm trying to learn these new techniques I'm trying to grow my my mixed media knowledge and my um just product knowledge in the art field um all that type of stuff so um but what I did want to talk about just uh a little bit was use what you have because I I'm, I'm guilty and I 
I just wanted to share this if, if I can help you realize that I mean you're gonna end up with a lot of supplies that you don't use if you're just kind of whim shopping like on a whim or a lot of people buy a lot of stuff from the dollar bins at Michaels and Target and stuff I've stopped that like unless I know I'm gonna use it for something for a specific thing and it's seasonal a lot of it it doesn't stay there so but I don't need it I don't need it I think the last things I bought at Michaels I did buy these three stamps and I think these are a dollar fifty so it's not you're not breaking the bank I got this little B and I used it on a um, on an art journal page, but I also liked it as um, something for polymer clay. So think about something things that you can use for multiple things. I got this crown, and I thought if I did that in polymer clay, I could kind of cut it out, and it would be a dimensional piece. But I also have used it on a mixed media piece already. And then I got home sweet home because I just love home. Home is my best friend. <laughs> And I just liked the writing of it and stuff, and it was $1.50. But I'll tell you what, I could have lived without them. Absolutely could have lived without them. For one, two, three, four, five dollars, maybe get a latte instead. You know, I'm just saying. The thing, you know, that's the thing. You got it. Like, I ordered this. I love it. It's gorgeous. I think I've used it one time. One time. I could have draw. I draw moons. I know how to draw moons. Uh, but what I'm talking about is, um, I think, like, and I wanted to make a video for you guys, and like I keep saying that, and I'm not really at a place right now where I'm just sharing what I make. I want to now share some of what I've learned from YouTube, um, because YouTube is this great source we have, right? When I first started watching it, I was like addicted to YouTube. I would, one video would lead to the next, to the next, to the next, and um, I learned there's just such a world of, we have this crafty community now, right? You could find anything out. Like my husband, you can watch, if the, if the dryer breaks or something, Google it, go into YouTube, and you'll find out how to fix your dryer. Like it's amazing, so. Um, all right, I don't, I'm kind of off point here. Um, but what I want to talk about, so I have a craft room. I'm lucky enough that I actually have a room that holds my crafty stuff. I used to, I've gone for lots, I mean, listen, I'm 51, going to be 52 this year. So you youngins don't think, you know, I haven't had this my whole life. I've had it for one year, one year. I just came up here last January. Um, because I just decided we didn't use this room. This room was like it's just a fancy room that we didn't use. So I said, I'm, I'm putting my craft stuff in there. And I love it. And I'm upstairs because I used to be in the basement. Um, then I used to craft in my dining room. My dining room, I kind of took it over. And, you know, so, uh, you know, things evolve and change over time. Um, but it is a big part of my life. I basically spend a little bit of time every day probably in this room. Um, some days no, some days I don't come in here at all. Um, if I'm actually cleaning, you know, I do clean from time to time. <laughs> um, but all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take the camera and hopefully I won't be too, but I wanna shoot over here for a minute. I'm just gonna share some of my craft room. So this is basically, it's a living room really. And there's double doors here that lead into our other like den area. There's a nice big cubby over there that has 12 I think cubbies in it. Wire rack, that's all my beading stuff. Another 12 cubby thing. That is the fireplace that I've actually taken over cuz this room doesn't have a lot of wall space. There's four windows in this room. So that's another 12 cubby thing. I wanted to keep the chair and then there's a six cubby thing, a wire rack wire rack over here and my desk which has a lot of big cubbies and behind me is another 12 cubby um, thing but I want to talk about what's over here so basically of course I had to get this thing to cover which my husband wasn't thrilled that I covered the fireplace but listen it's a wall space as far as I was concerned um, and I'll tell you what I don't use hardly anything that's on there 
I don't use it. It's just sitting there and holding stuff, which, I mean, I guess that's the point of a craft room. What am I trying to say? When it comes to supplies, right, what you need and what you want to buy, just pick and choose and understand that you don't need it. Like, you can live without it. What am I trying to say? I don't know. Like, let's talk about this over here. I literally don't. I don't come over here very much. This is flowers. There are a million flowers. Recollections. I don't know. Every kind of flower that you ever could imagine. I don't use them. I don't need... Listen, I did use them at one point. Because, look. Right up here is a project. I put a flower on it, right? Look at those little flowers. So what am I trying to say? Stamps. Those are all my stamps are in those shoe boxes. I have dies and um, embossing folders, ribbon, tons of ribbon. This thing is filled with ribbon. Ribbon up the wazoo, right? Um, trims. A lot of that stuff came from the dollar spot at Michael's. Um, all right, I'm not going to go around my whole room. I think I just want to kind of finish up by saying, huh, let's come back over here. Let me hold this here so you don't get sick. Put this back on my desk. Um, oop, I turn this around. Behind me, I will say, I just reorged this. Sorry, there's something okay. I just reorganized like this area because I wanted it to be what I use every day or what I've been using every day, reaching for every day. Um, my clay stuff is kind of over there at the moment and I switch out between painting stuff and clay stuff a lot. So right now I'm in, ooh, excuse me, painting mode. I have a, a drawer here that is like my go-to stuff. Um, and I just put all my mixed media stuff, my art journals, and all that stuff behind me um, yesterday. And um, so I'm kind of in oh, growing my hair out. Not fun. I'm, I'm in. Um, it's like, like I said, I mean, I've been doing this for four years. I think I'm just starting to kind of realize what I um what I want to continue doing and where my art journey is going to take me. And I've said this in previous videos, you know, this year I'm really trying to get a whole, like, realize my own style. Um, <clears throat> after watching all these videos and getting so much input on YouTube, um, and it's a lot. There's a lot out there, as you guys know. So, um, yeah, it's just part of the journey, I guess, part of... Um, learning what appeals to me and a lot a lot appeals to me a lot um, so uh, I just wanted to touch base and maybe hopefully I don't even know if I made a point or not basically use what you have as I buy more stuff but like just just be careful I just wanted you guys to understand that I've been there done that myself and you know Although, I just had a comment. Um, I'll end on this. They were disappointed that I wasn't listing supplies and where I got them. Um, just so you know, like I said, I use a coupon if I can. I shop locally if I can. And we don't really have any um, shops, like scrapbooking stores or anything around here. It's AC Moore, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, like I said. And if they don't have it, then I go to Amazon. Um, so... That's where I get everything, and it's not specific. I'm not going to tell you this is the specific, specific. There's other videos that'll tell you that, but that's not what I do. I just like to share what I make and how, like, I, and I'll give tutorials from time to time, but not not products, um, because a lot of different products, uh, sequins, for instance, you yeah, know, they're sequins. I don't know. I don't get caught up in that part of it. Um, but like with the art and everything, I'm learning about the mediums, the different mediums. That's different. Like I'll explain the differences between certain mediums and stuff. But like these, the Windsor Newton and the Cotton Watercolors. 
I doubt there's that much of a difference. This might be more highly pigmented, but you can still watercolor with these. So um, anyway, um, I hope I said what I was meaning to say. And um, today I think I'm just gonna do some mixed media morsels because I'm really behind. I have like five to do. And um, it snowed, so you know, there's that. And that's about it, you guys. So hopefully everyone's having a great, it's gonna be spring before we know it. And maybe I'll continue to do vlogs. I hope my hair gets better. And I, you know, I'm not wearing makeup or anything. Oh God, getting old, it's no fun. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.